front desk right here. Um, our building does have a max capacity of 480 beds with 99 rooms. Um, so it's a lot of people. Definitely a lot of people. And our old building was only 205 beds. We outgrew that about 15 years ago. Um, we had the opportunity to purchase a facility right down the street from South Station, right around the corner from the Boston Common. We definitely grabbed it up as soon as we could. A um, couple things in this area. We do have a lot of windows, as you can see. Floor to ceiling windows. It allows for a lot of natural light, but it also allows you guys to see out into the community. The community to kind of peek in, see what's going on in there, which is really good. Cool. Cafe. We do serve all um, local products. Um, none of our none of our products are from outside New England. We actually only have one product that's currently from outside Massachusetts, and that's um, the Poland Spring Water. As soon as we're done with that last batch of Poland spring water, we're switching to Polar, which is actually from Massachusetts. Um, so as, as much as we can get locally sourced, that's what we're going to do. It's going to cut down on carbon emissions. Um, it hasn't quite gotten cold enough for us in Boston to turn that on yet because it does throw off heat, but I, I'm pretty sure that in the next couple weeks or so, we're going to be switching that fireplace on. Um, and that's actually a painting of John Adam, uh, Samuel Adams, I'm sorry, um, the brewer. Most of him know, most of you guys would know him as, as the head of the brewer. This is our community room. Uh, this space, we rent to other groups in the area free of charge. Um, it's just one simple way that we can give back. Um, as you can see, all these paintings over here, these are actually done by uh, a program called Community Walls, where we ask middle school students, so early teenagers, um, to give us something that represents their community. You can see the wealth of the different types of communities we have just in the Boston area. Um, this space can be rented for public use, you know, if you're doing a poetry slam that you want to have open to the public as well as guests, or um, right now we do have a string um, school that comes in on Thursdays to give lessons to small students. And obviously that's not something that's open to the guests. We would bring our garage really excited about this new facility. Uh, being a green building, uh, this was actually an old factory. It was originally um, built between 1886 and 1888. So it's definitely very old. We decided instead of tearing down the full structure, we're just gonna tear out all the insides and make it something brand new. So this brick is original from the late 1800s. Oh, it's painted white on the first floor because back in the late 1800s, it was very taboo to have exposed brick on the interior of a building. It meant that you didn't have enough money to paint it. Everyone today, especially in Boston, loves interior exposed brick. So on, floor, on the second floor, and up, we kept it all natural, but on the first floor, we did keep it to that historic practice of painting it white. We move over this way. On all of our floors, we do have TV screens right outside our elevators, so that guests can see kind of a list of what's going on for the day, and just a general area map so you can see what you're looking at. Any special announcements that are going on, like we had um, Olympics trivia, while the Olympics are going on, that was here. Um, any community events that are going on, those will all be posted right there. And that way, if you're on the fifth floor, you don't have to run all the way downstairs just to see what's going on. This is our orange floor. We have um, four floors of rooms. Uh, so three, four, five, and six all have rooms. Each floor has a color. Those colors are loosely coordinated with the colors of the subway lines. So there's a blue, red, orange and green floor, or, um, and there are blue, red, orange, and green lines of our subway. Each floor also has a story. So the fourth floor, as you can see, Wednesday's Spaghetti Day. Um, back in the 60s, 70s, there was a commercial on TV for Prince's Pasta, where there was a small boy running down the street of the North End, which is the Italian district, saying, I have to run home Wednesday's Spaghetti Day. It was an ad for like, that for Prince's Pasta. Um, so each floor does have a little story like that to it. Wednesday is actually the night that we do free dinners here in Boston as well. Um, once a week, we get
give you guys a break. So all you have to think about is how hungry you are. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the cooking or how much it's going to cost because we do know a lot of the travelers that stay with us have this much money to last this long. Um, so if we can give you one night a week where you don't have to think about anything but being hungry, you can already come in. So this is our standard, what we call standard room with six beds. We have three different types of dorms here at HI Boston. We have a four bed, a six bed, and an eight bed. Um, as you can see, all the dorms are up, or all the beds are up against one side of the wall, so you have more privacy. You don't have to worry about the person sleeping on this side, kind of, you know, they're, either they're sleeping or you're sleeping and someone else is coming in. You don't really have to worry about that. Um, in each little pod, as we like to call it, if you look over this way, you can see above that your head. Not only do you have a little reading light up there, but you also have outlets. So you can plug things in, charge your phone. Um, each bed also has a locker. And everything's numbered, which is great. Makes it super easy to figure out what's yours. Um, so in here, there's actually um, a hole for your cords. So you can go out during the day and charge your laptop, your tablet, your phone, your camera and not have to worry about just leaving it out. Um, but each private sleeps up to three people. So you have a double bed and then either a lofted twin or a separate day bed, depending on how the room is situated. Uh, but in the privates, again, you know, you are paying more for the private, so each private does have its own bathroom, which is nice. Um, you also have cable TV, um, an iHome dock, and there is um, a safe underneath the bed if you want to lock it. private rooms, up. you can actually adjust your own temperature. In the dorms, we do it for you. Um, but in the private rooms, again, you know, this is supposed to be a little more luxurious, especially in a hostel. We're going to give you that one little thing of being able to change the temperature in your room. Um, now, in all of the bathrooms and bedrooms and a lot of the common spaces, you'll see these stickers here. Um, this is a QR or quick response code. If you take your phone or your smart device, whatever it would be, and I can show you here, um, and scan this code. Let me find my scanner. So you just take it over there, scan the code. It'll bring you to a page of our website which tells you why this bedroom is green, what these little icons stand for. Um, for example, the LED step lighting like you saw in the dorms. Um, also, the increased air circulation and exchanges. Um, and actually, we have the use of an energy recovery unit. So all of our energy for the heating and cooling actually goes back on the first and second floor. We've painted them dark gray, like we had with the, the brick in the first floor. Um, but again, it's, they were just so cool and so unique that we decided to strip them and reseal them um, so that guests could see them on the third through sixth floors. Um, and this little wing right here is actually all of the private rooms. So the private rooms are kind of in their little corner. And they're in the same spot on every floor, so it's a little bit quieter. You don't have to worry about, you know, eight people coming in right next to you at 3 o'clock. Um, our kitchen where we serve our free breakfast every morning. Um, the kitchen is open 23 hours a day. We do close at one hour from 6 to 7 a.m. to really do that thorough deep clean when nobody is in here and to set up for breakfast. We clean it two to three, uh, one or two other times during the day. Also, you know, if anything happens, we will come in and clean it right away. Um, this area, we also have some food storage. So the blue bins are for dry goods storage. And the smaller clear bins over there with the lids are for in the fridge. Because again, we know not everybody has enough money to go out and buy dinner every night. So you can go to the store, just a lot of label, and date your food. Just stick it in the fridge. No one's going to touch it. For groups that may come in, um, whether it's a Girl Scout troop or a college on spring break, um, if they want to have their own space to prep meals, have meetings, you can reserve this facility as well. And this is fully stocked, just like the other side. Our conference room. This is a space that's also um, rented out more for in-house groups for meeting space. Um, unlike the downstairs. Uh, community room that we have cable TV hooked up to that projector. This TV does not have cable 
with it, but you, we have all the adapters where you can plug in, you know, a tablet or a laptop so you can do presentations. Um, I think the coolest feature of this room is this table. These beams are actually original to the old elevator shafts. We do have several tables throughout our building where we use these, these beams as well as the floor treads and the monumental staircase. All of those, all of that wood is reclaimed from the building. We do have uh, free book exchange as well as travel guides. Um, say you're traveling through and you're not going to come back to Boston anytime in the near future, you can drop off your Boston tour book and then say you're going to California, you can pick up. We do have computers here. They are $2 for 20 minutes, but they are also hooked up to a printer. Um, for every page you print off, you lose like 10 seconds of your time. But you don't completely lose all the time if you don't use all of it. When you log off, it'll give you a little code so you can use that time at another time during the day or the following day, which is kind of cool. And all of our computers also have Skype phones. So you don't have to worry about trying to use just the camera. You can actually have a clear sound when you're talking. TV lounge. These are some of the comfiest couches in the entire building. Um, quite often find people taking a nap here because it's so comfortable. Um, and this is open. I mean, this space is open 24 hours for guests. It's not like we, you know, take the remotes away after midnight. I mean, if you wanna, if you can't sleep and wanna come down at 4 a.m. and watch TV, you're more than welcome to do that. This wall over here just kind of says what's going on in the neighborhood, the neighborhoods of Boston, just outside of Boston, local bars, restaurants, things to do, things like what's our subway system called? You know, cab company numbers. Um, little things like that, where the closest ATM is. Um, we want to try and give you as much information before you leave the hostel to go out and explore as possible. Um, even things like price points. Um, you know, we want to let you know before you go somewhere approximately how much you may spend at that place. Maybe you hear about this awesome restaurant called Abe and Louie's and don't realize till you get there, it's like $30 to $40 a plate. You know, and then you're like, I'm starving, what do I do? How do you, you know, and this way if you look at these beforehand, you might see, ooh, okay, so maybe I want to go to uh, Bean Town Pub because they've got great burgers and it's a lot cheaper than getting a burger or a steak at Ava which is actually one of the top restaurants in the city, but it's just definitely a place you go on special occasions, birthdays when mom and dad come and visit. <laughs> um, here's that phone card machine I was talking about. We do have laundry facilities as well as vending machines. Um, and again, this is open 24 hours. So people can just kind of come down and do what they want on their own time, which is really cool. And you don't have to use quarters for our, our um, laundry machines. It does have a card reader for the activities throughout the city as possible. Um, for example, this evening we're going bowling. Um, the hostel reserves two lanes. We get two lanes, two games per lane, and free shoes for all of our guests that want to participate. Um, so that's 20 bucks right there that we're saving you. All you would have to do is, you know, cover your public transit fare there and back, which if you don't already have a subway pass is five dollars total. Um, and then whatever you would eat or drink. Another example, last night, people went for trivia. There's no charge to play trivia. Again, you would just cover whatever you would eat or drink. Um.